months now. A lot of our members are using it now, and it's and what what's the date? So we're halfway through the promotion, guys. So at the end of the month, it's no longer going to be included in your membership in your annual membership. So it's best if you can save up and buy it by the end of this month because we will not give it away anymore. Uh, we 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 said that we won't sell these things. Um, to curb members because curb members are always going to have the best of the best from us. We do not ever want to, you know, we, our whole thing is like, dude, sure. We can charge a ton of money and all that stuff, but that's not the point. The point is we want you to learn. So we, everything we create is for you to be, be effectively learning. Okay. Because what's, what's worse is imagine we sell a bunch of these things and it doesn't work. I mean, what, what, what's that going to do? Right. All it does is just going to hurt us. Because now, what, you know, that's not the point. The point is we want you to learn. So we created this as a way for you to learn. And we actually tested this many months before we, we, we shipped it out. And we even made it available for free for current annual and lifetime members. I mean, who does that, right, guys? So, I mean, it, people cannot complain. People cannot, you cannot be possibly mad at that at the end of this month, if you, if you do not buy a membership, an annual membership, you cannot say that, hey, man, can you give this to this for free? Because we, I mean, we there's there's a price to everything. We, you know, there's a lot of money spent in development. But I don't want to get into that. If you want to reach out to Tosh, we have a special promotion this month. And with that said, we're growing very rapidly. So, how do we take care of our our member base, right? So, a whole thing is mentorship. So, with mentorship, you need a lot of people dedicated to helping you. Not just like every other chat room is like this, dude. They mute everybody. They mute people, and if you ask a question, they think it's a stupid question, and then they block you, they mute you. You can't really ask anything, though, and when you ask a question, they automatically say, hey, go buy my DVD. I'm like, what the hell, right? So we don't sell DVDs, we sell courses. So if you notice, the Jumpstart Accelerator is an actual course, guys. It's a seven-hour course. People think it's bullshit that you can actually start learning to day trade within seven hours. Doesn't mean you can be good at it doesn't mean you're gonna be the best at it doesn't mean you're gonna be consistently probably be a millionaire by it but the point is to get you started to get you to be able to place a first trade without knowing anything about trading and that's the whole point people do not understand of course you cannot become a master of anything within seven hours now within a few months maybe look at Faye right she's you know doing remarkably well but she's definitely you know one of a kind but the point is it's possible if you keep to your discipline which leads me to this we we are um bef- let me say before we start i want to bring um vic on so what uh raise your hand vic if i can find you then i'll add you so we're growing very rapidly so part of this we wanted to bring on add additional help so we uh Faye was a member that just joined um, like January 31st and now she's like dude she's kicking butt dude she, she's just um, follows everything and so those are the types of people we love we, we love the fact that people are working hard and so we you know we reached out to her and we asked her if she can become a moderator and she, thankfully she said yes and guess who her tab is her training accountability uh, training accountability buddy is it's Vic hey what's up man what up, brother? This is the first time I, we get to say hi. So, uh, how you doing, man? Uh, yeah, living a dream out here, man. It's uh, it's nice and hot today. <laughs> oh, so I want to introduce you to our newest and, and newest moderator, Vic. So I thank you very much for accepting this role because you know what, this is not a glorious role, man. This is a lot of work and, and a lot of abuse. So, hey, you know, I, I told Alex, I said, you know, I've never shied away from a day of hard work in my life, and I'm not going to start now. So. It's, you know, this is, this is, and honestly, it, I'm honored and tickled pink that you guys would, you know, reach out to me and ask me if, if I'd be interested in becoming a mod. So this is huge for me just as much as, you know, it is a give back to the community and to give back to you guys. Yeah. So, so what, what strike me about Vic was the fact that he started creating all these documents and no one asked him to do any of this stuff. He truly, you truly wanted to help members. And so like that really touched me. And the same thing with Faye, you know, we don't just make people moderators because they're the best traders in the world. Because a lot of the best traders in the world, they do not want to help anybody. They want to keep all the knowledge to themselves, and they think that they, you know, by sharing this, is com- competition. And so what Faye started doing was she started helping people all over the place. And so that was the reason why we 
we asked Faye to become a moderator. Same reason as you. Not necessarily because you guys are the best traders in the world, which you guys are pretty pretty darn good, obviously. So, but, but you know, that's not we do okay. the main emphasis of, of being a moderator. This is the thing people don't understand. People go, oh, these guys are not freaking like million dollar traders. I'm like, you don't have to be a million dollar trader. Help someone. It's, it's like, as long as you understand the process, you, you, you know what you're doing, you're willing to help people. Same thing with a coach. So this is the thing that I realized through, throughout my training career, and thinking, yeah, I thought, hey, man, you have to be, like, the best trader in order to educate. But that's false. If you look at sports, right, the best coaches, Bill Belichick, he's not a football player, right? But he's the best coach. Just because you cannot play this sport because of whatever reason it may be doesn't mean you, you are not a good coach. And so that's the thing people don't understand. You know, there are great educators out there that may not be able to trade for whatever reason it may be. You know, you, you, you know, they just don't want to or just because of mental reasons. Or whatever the reason may be, a lack of capital, who, who knows, right? But being a coach does not really mean – so the way you judge a coach is by championship in football, right? Bill Belichick won 7, 10, whatever he won. And so as a coach like myself, Alex, and whoever else is our members. And the fact that Faye and yourself and Tom and James and all these people have become consistently profitable in such a short time, there we go. Those are the championship rings. And so that is what I want. I want to create a bunch of championship rings, each person becoming a consistently profitable trader. And so I, I've, I envision you to be a great coach, man. And so I thank you for accepting this role. And can you tell everybody a little bit about yourself? You're, you're, you are a military guy and all that, so just – Give everybody a background story. Sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you a, a quick, you know, thirty-second background. So, yeah, I, I was in the military. I did military for twenty-two years. I did uh, Navy for ten years, and then crossed over to the Army and uh, finished up there twelve years. I just retired from the military reserves back in November of last year. So that was good. It was great. It was good times, but it's time to pass the torch to the young guys and let them carry it on. So, <laughs> so it's definitely time for me to, to hang up that that hat and uh, put on a hat. I'm there, huh? So I'm also a uh, I'm a network engineer. So I work with technology all day long. Uh, matter of fact, I've answered a bunch of questions for people who are trying to figure out what kind of a trading PC to get and, you know, what things to look for and all that kind of good stuff. So, uh, so I think I've been able to kind of offer a little something there, too, for the community and for the club. Um, hey, man. So, and you're, you're a phase tab, too. So you guys are like the dynamic dual tab. Same thing with Tom <laughs> and James. They're tab. And, they're, right. and so there, there, there's, this is the thing, man. You, you see the commonality – all the guys watching now on live, uh, the fact the tab program works, man. You know what I'm saying? You notice like one tab person helps kind of like boost the other tab person. Because like you imagine if, if you or Faye did all the work and the other partner didn't do anything, you'd be like, what, the, what are you doing, right? And so it's also a competitive kind of like loving, nurturing kind of environment. And um, Yeah, it's, if I could just get Faye to stop stealing my orders, I'd be okay. It'd be great. You know, she just steps in front of me by one penny and boom. She stops the market. It never hits me. She gets filled 10 shares out of her 10,000 shares and life is good. <laughs> just give me the crumbs, right? Just give me the crumbs. Right. <laughs> That's great, man. I, I mean, I'm, I'm really thankful for that you guys have joined. So how did you join, find MIC? But, 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 and when did you join? Man, I'll tell you, you know, so, so a, a quick background. So I, I got involved in a, I, I did a, a trade in penny stocks years ago. I mean, literally years ago, like probably 25 years ago. And, uh, and I made money on a thing, right? And even the broker told me, he's like, this never happens. So I'm like, oh, well, shit, okay, I'll take it. So I made like 200 bucks or something. It was, it was tiny, but it, it kind of, it bit me. And it was enough to say, you know, there's something to it. And then I ended up reading a book by uh, Larry Williams, who's a commodities trader. Uh, it was how he made a million dollars in commodities last year. And that was, again, going back 20 years. And his book even says, you know, you need 10K to just get started and kind of get moving in the right direction. And I wasn't set in my career. I didn't have the cash to open up an account and do all that kind of stuff. So I, I kept it in the back of my mind. It's something I always wanted to do. So when I finally got to that point, I figured futures was the way to go. And I got started with futures. And that was about uh, two years ago, three years ago. And uh, I had limited success. I won. I lost. I won. I lost. And I'd lose more than I win because I didn't have a proper process. I didn't have really a group to reach out to, somebody to kind of, you know, walk me down that aisle to show you, these are the things you need to look out for. These are the things you need to do. And uh, anything that I did come across was very basic, right? Uh, simple information, uh, not enough to really get you to that next level. And then, uh, so I came across Mick in uh, January of this year, 
I saw the advertisement on Facebook and I'm looking at it and I'm like, ah, I don't know. So I, I jumped on uh, one of the intro videos that Tosh does. And so I jumped on there and I'm listening. I'm just watching everything go down. I'm listening to you and Alex talk and you guys just sound like real dudes, like real, they're just real dudes. Which, which, uh, when? Can you tell the date again? Uh, this is back in January. I, I, I uh, I yeah. So me and Faye are like neck and neck with, you know, the days that we ended up joining. Uh, so I ran up to my car uh, after doing some research. I'm a geek, you know, when it comes to that kind of stuff. So I, I did a bunch of research and I'm like, you know, it makes sense. I'm seeing just a bunch of testimonials from just dudes who were just, they got involved, got started, learned some stuff, and started moving forward. And, and that was huge. So I thought, you know what? Let me go reach out to Tosh and see what he has to say. So Tosh hits me up and he's like, hey, yeah. Uh, so why don't you join, do an annual membership? It's the best bang for your buck. And see how you like it. See what you think before committing to a lifetime or anything else. And I said, all right, all right, I'll do it. I'm in. So I joined uh, annual membership in January. Right along with Faye, she went lifetime a couple of weeks before I did. <laughs> and uh, once I got involved, it was it was a no brainer that this is where I needed to be in order to learn the right things to get me moving in the right direction with my trading and get me to that next level. And that's how I ended up getting here. And and I can't thank you guys enough for, you know, stepping up and, and putting this out there for guys like me who really just want that real education to get out there and get involved. So uh, how about you summarize really quickly your path and what, what did you do? So when you joined MIC, did you watch videos? What is your path so that the people out there can understand, like, if they join, what are the steps? And is it hard? Is it, you know, where do you, where are you then? Where are you now, you know? Sure. Yeah, absolutely. So. So when I joined, uh, once I got my annual membership up and rolling, uh, this is before the whole COVID thing stepped in and really, you know, uh, made thing, other things take a back seat. Uh, my commute to work is 40 minutes to and 40 minutes from. So I would literally put the videos on in my car. I'd listen to them as I was driving in all of Joe Kelly's videos from the very first one all the way up to the most current, and I'd watch them all. Pretty basic. And that's it. All the basic, the entire basic course. And I did the whole series to and from work. But when I get home and the work in the evening, if there was something I needed to review or there's something that was being presented in the video that I needed to see for myself, I'd go back, rewatch it, touch base on it, and then keep on going. And I progressed to the entire video series before I really got involved in the community because I wanted to have an idea. I wanted to have good questions to ask, not just ask questions that could be answered by information that was there. So I dove into it, ate up all those videos, started watching the trading fish videos, uh, which was the next sequence, you know, learning some of the live trades, understanding the concepts between low hanging fruit, first red day, um, and then other concepts behind trading. You know, I saw this, you know, SEC filings. I didn't know shit about SEC filings before I joined Mick. I'm like, SEC filings? What the hell is that? Yeah. So I'm thinking I got to be some kind of like wizard analyst or something, you know, and, and I don't, you don't have to be a wizard analyst, but Mick provides the basis for you to understand what you need to know in SEC filings so that you can keep yourself safe. And that was the key. And I, so once I really started watching these things and diving into it, um, I got involved in the community. Uh, and then once I really got involved in the community, getting into, into the webinars, I, you know, I try to get to a Austin's webinar religiously because it's easy for me to hit at a time. Uh, but since this COVID thing hit, man, I'm on everything, you know, I'm on the, I'm, I'm on Tasha's webinar. I'm on uh, Austin's webinar. I'm on all the IG lives that I can get on to. I'm on all of uh, YouTube videos with Alex as often as he can get on. So it, it's about being involved. So education is the first thing. You got to educate yourself. You got to get involved in the videos, take notes, and then ask questions. If you don't do the work of getting the education and then coming into the community and getting involved, you're out there. You, you might as well just go get a book, read it, and then put it on a shelf. Yep. Because that's what you're doing. You're not getting involved. You got to get involved. So my path was, was literally get educated, get involved in the community, and then start trading. So, and that's exactly how, what I did. Oh, how many months did you, would you say you watched a video before you even got into the community? And then how long in the community before you placed your first trade? So it took me, it was probably about six weeks before I started getting involved in the community. Uh, because that's just my personality, right? So, and, I, and if I didn't, take that time, um, I felt like I, I wasn't doing justice to the people who were answering my questions, right? Because I wanted to make sure that when I came in and started asking questions that I was asking intelligent questions, things that weren't answered elsewhere in, in material, right? So I do, I make sure I do enough research uh, to, to understand that, okay, here's the info. 
But if I didn't understand something correctly or still had questions, those are the questions you need to ask. Those are the things you need to get involved in and just ask people what's going on. You know, what does this mean when uh, it says SSR? And how long is it on SSR you know, enabled for? What does that actually mean? What, is it, uh, what does it do to you? And then what are the risks in, in trading an SSR stock, right? So, um, so those are the things that if you don't understand those concepts and they're not, you can't find the answers, then come in and ask. Absolutely. That's what it's all about. You know, get involved in the community, ask the question. Um, so about six weeks from diving into the videos, getting involved in the community, and then about another three and a half, four weeks before diving into the practice trading, right? So I signed up for a DOS trial, 14-day trial, uh, jumped on there, did some live paper trading, and, uh, and, and saw that things were coming together, right? All the things that I had learned, I'm seeing them play out in real time during market sessions, and then just putting them into practice. And then I'm, I'm starting to make consistent profits, you know, just low, low hangers, throwing small shares, you know, a couple hundred shares, no big deal. Just see, what can I do? What can I do? Did that for a couple of weeks, and then jumped in live. I opened a Cobra account. Uh, because I had the funding to do it and started diving in. Same thing, small shares. I started with 200 shares, then I went to 500 shares, and then I just kept climbing from there. And that's how I got to where I am. You know, it's not about jumping in and saying, oh, I know what I'm doing. I'm going to throw 10,000 shares at the market and, you know, crash my account the next day. That's the wrong thing to do. <laughs> right. You did it very methodically, maybe because you're a military guy and you're an engineer. <laughs> But this is good. So I love the fact. So this is a part of the moderator process because you know what, man? A lot of people do not have the discipline and the methodical, methodical, strategical, and like the uh, mindset that you do. So I'm going to summarize for everybody. Before he even placed the first trade, he did six weeks of watching videos. We call that self education, right? Watching the video. And you know what? All this while he had a job, guys. Faye and Vic have a full-time job. And this is, you know, this is their supplemental income. But now their supplemental right. income is more than their payroll, probably. <laughs> so, so six weeks of watching videos and learning before, before asking questions in the community. Because you want to do as much homework as you can to prepare yourself to know what to ask. Because otherwise, you're, you're not asking the proper question. You're wasting your time as well as the other person's time, right? So six weeks of that. Followed by three weeks of community meeting, he's going into the chat room, he's actively watching things, he's asking actively involved in the community, watching webinars and all that stuff. Right? And then he opened up a, a paper trading account uh, from Cobra and did that for three weeks. Uh, you know, uh, simulated trades, paper trading, virtual simulation. And then after that, finally, so what he did, so six weeks of that, of homework, uh, three weeks of community so that's nine weeks plus another three weeks of paper trade that's 12 weeks so that's around three months okay yep. so now three months later he's finally putting his very first live trade on and that is why Vic really didn't go through the trial and error of oh my god i, I made a lot of money i lost a lot of money i made a lot of money lots of, of money right and so <laughs> he's he's gone through the methodical process that we are trying to tell everybody is the proper process of educate and learn. And this is the process that has yielded so many members success without having to start ballooning up and down bad habits. So Vic, Vic man, I, I congratulate you, man. You were a very disciplined military guy. I love this, man. You, there's structure. And so this is the perfect, you know, you, uh, we are very blessed to have someone like you. Like you, now you're the drill sergeant for our, <laughs> for our community. <laughs> like, no, you should not be doing that, right? This is the proper stuff. <laughs> So I, I, I mean, this is awesome, man. So this is something that a process that we would love to for you to help us put together because you know you have the winning winning formula. You and Tab, or you and Faye are the Tab group. You guys did pretty much identical in, in terms because you joined about the same time. That's how we, you got tabbed. You got picked together, right? And so yep. you did the same course, the same methodical process that Faye did. And so right without even knowing that she was doing it, though. I mean, she did it on her own. I did it on my own. And then we got together later um, after, you know, I, I reached out to her and started chatting with her a little bit. And then I uh, yeah, said, hey, you know, are you interested in having a tab? <laughs> so, so you're saying within three months, you went live for, for not much no, knowledge of trading to now live with small shares and becoming consistent. And, and so talk about how you grew, like how many shares did you start? Like how did you gradually go from paper trading to live trading? And how did you grow? your share size, what's your thought process on that? 
Sure. So, uh, so from paper trading, uh, what paper trading taught me was a couple of different things. One, it taught me the platform. Uh, because if you don't understand how to utilize the platform, then you're going to make mistakes, making your entries, putting your stops in, putting your triggers or put your targets in. Uh, so you need to learn the platform and understand what you're seeing, how to manipulate it, how to zoom in and out of charts, right? All those kinds of things. So for me, getting involved from, a, from that perspective, I needed to know what does the platform do? How do I interact with the platform? Second thing that uh, happens is I used that paper trading time to gain confidence, confidence, confidence in the knowledge that I've gained and being able to apply that knowledge, uh, withdrawing lines, uh, understanding what lines I'm looking at, understanding what I'm seeing through, you know, from the day one to the day three uh, setups that we look at, you know, day one is the runner, day two is the you know, tail off low hanging fruit and day three is, you know, typically it runs off and dies, crawls back from where it came from. Um, so once I started seeing those things and gaining that confidence, putting on some trades real small, just, you know, what happens, then you start seeing, okay, this is, this is what's possible. I can draw my lines. I have confidence in what I'm seeing and where I place my orders, where I'm looking to take profit, where I put my stops. I'm not getting stopped out with everybody else. And I'm able to take profit with confidence, knowing that I'm in, I'm out, I'm done. I don't need to hang on. I don't need to take off partial profit and let it run. You can build an account taking scalps all day long. And that was, that was a big thing, right? So understanding that you can take small bites constantly and consistently over and over and over, you can build your account. From there, I started adding size. So I started out with 200 shares. And then from there, I went to 500 shares. Understanding, you know, what that really meant from an equity perspective and what's required to hold those positions for a couple of minutes or a half hour. And then from there, you, you keep building. And as your confidence grows and you know where your entries are going to be, you know where your stops are going to be, you use the risk profile that Joe Kelly has put out there for you uh, for how to scale into low-hanging fruits. Um, there was a, I, I forget the stock that we were looking at this morning, uh, that had, it had basically three different levels uh, of where you can scale into and you're using 30% size to get into that. And understanding how that risk factor falls into all the things that you, you do on a day-to-day -day basis are huge. So I use that time with the day trading to understand the risk. How does it affect my account equity at the end? And then how does it build confidence in the ability for me to be able to get into the market live? Then I went live and did the same thing. I just started over again. I went live, started like I did with paper trading, and continued the same process and continued to just keep adding shares as I got more confident, as I understood what I was seeing in the market happen unfold. So so what Vic did was he paper traded, but also within the paper trading started to increase your size within the paper, paper trading? Absolutely. You see yeah, guy? because you need to know. A lot of people, they go into paper trading and go, I want to do 10,000 shares because it's fake money. <laughs> but you really don't <laughs> think, right? So paper trading is supposed to mimic the real. <laughs> and so that's why I liked. Exactly. Because if, if I walk into paper trading and say, I'm going to throw 10,000 shares at the market and not treat it like it's real money, then what's the point? You know, I might as well, that's like throwing, a, that's like rolling a, uh, a Hot Wheels Lamborghini down the road, but it's not the real thing, right? I mean, come on, you got to do what you're going to do the way that you're going to do it when you go at it for real. Uh, in the military, we have a, a saying, you know, you, you train like you fight, you fight like you train. And that's what we do here, is that we train like we fight in the paper trading. And then when you get into the real trading, you fight like you trained. And that's exactly what you do. I lied, dude. I love that line. That's pretty much training right there. Yep. That's exactly it. So you are now what? Five months in? Is it five months? Five, yeah, I guess, yeah, yeah. About five months in now, yep. That's incredible, man. So within three months, you went live, and now it's only been two months. How many shares are you up, up to now? So I trade, on, on, on average, I'm trading 3,000 shares. I don't go over 3,000 shares. Uh, I just stick within that range, because that's what's comfortable for me right now. Correct. Uh, it makes sense to my mentality. Uh, it makes sense to my bottom line. I can roll out with, you know, profit. I mean, you see me posting my P&Ls. Uh, you know, when I'm trading, some days I don't trade because the setups just don't make sense to me. You know, and that's, I think that's one of the things that's important to understand too, is that trading is personal to the individual. So your setups and where you scale into lines and how you get into trades is not necessarily how I do it. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. You do it your way. I do it my way. In the end, we end up green and that's all that matters. That's awesome, man. So, so your whole process took Dude, man, that's remarkable, man. Three months, pretty much, with small size become consistent. So at first you became consistent. Then you started to add size. That, right. That's, that's the thing people don't understand. People, 
people like to start adding size right away before they become consistent. That's how they blow up. Yeah, that's exactly right. So if you can't understand how to work with the size that you have, and, if, and like you had said one time in one of the IG posts, right? If you can't make 50 bucks a day consistently, how the hell are you going to make $500 or $1,000 a day consistently? Correct. You can't. There's no way. Because your, your mentality is not there yet. You haven't quite gotten the confidence in what you're doing. You don't know how to handle your equity from a stop perspective and where to take profit and be able to pull the trigger. If you walk into the, to the market with fear any given day, if you walk into the market with fear where you're going to put fear behind your money, you're going to lose because you're, you're, you're trading with scared money. You're trading with money that you hope is going to pan out for you. And when that market starts to move against you, you're short and it starts to move up. You know, it starts to teleport. You freeze and you lose your mind. I can't get out now because I'll lose too much money. I'll blow up my account. And I'll have to refund it. It's, it's the wrong thing to do. So if you start with small size, you don't have the risk of blowing up. And when the thing teleports against you because you weren't ready for it, you can bail on it without thinking twice about it and then move on to the next trade. And that's, the, that's, the, that's so huge. Yeah, that's awesome, man. And um, one last thing. I don't, I, don't want, I don't need you to talk about money or anything, but in terms of like, so, so now you're consistently profitable. You, you are pretty much knock on wood. I don't want to chase you, but make, make it. <laughs> you come in expecting to make money every day. I mean, that, that's, Absolutely. that's what it is. And the days yeah. you lose are, are very small because you, you have proper risk management that you've been learning all this time, right? So that's exactly. Can, can you tell the guys out there, I mean, are you like, what, are you like have you lost a day yet? <laughs> no faith. <laughs> but that's crazy, you know? My I, I, I've, had a, I've had a couple of losers, but you know, they're like 100 bucks because I keep it so small. Uh, and uh, yeah, yeah, you guys will see, uh, so, and Faye sees these too, right? So when I have a losing trade, I bail, right? And, I, and when I bail, it's typically at a point where the market's going to move against you and it's going to keep on going, right? So I bail on my trades. Um, I keep pretty tight risk. So, and it's because of the tight risk that I have, I think, is what really allows me to keep my, any losses that I have in check. So if I have a losing day, it's only a couple hundred bucks. Uh, and then any losing trades that I have, they're small too. And then and I even posted about that too, right? Like I, I still had losing trades, but at the end of the day, I still rolled away with 1,500 bucks green, right? So that's awesome, and, and, and you got it right there. The the wins start out of big if you do not have the wild swings. So at, at the end of the week, you go, whoa! You know, you, you even shock yourself. Like well, like last week, for instance. I I don't know. I don't know what you have, but you know, you post it. So I mean, we could go off and go back, but I'm like, dude, if you add those up every day, it's, it's, it's insane. Right. Absolutely. Well, so the first day I went live, right? I made 700 bucks that first day, and I was like. What the fuck? <laughs> I got up. I had to get up and walk away from the computer. I'm like, what happened? How's this possible? <laughs> you're right. I mean, you, you, you're going to remember that for the rest of your life, man. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I'll, I'll never forget that. It was $746. And I was like, there's no way. <laughs> I walked away and, and turned off the computer. I didn't touch anything. And then the next day I came back and I did it again. And I'm like, Something's wrong. <laughs> I'm doing something wrong. I can't make money every day. And then I just, I just continue to do it, right? And, it, and then you build that belief system. Uh, so the first time you make the profit, you're like, God, oh, it feels good. And then the second day you make the profit, like, okay, I can do it. The third day you make the profit, there's no such thing as coincidence, right? If you're doing it, you're doing it because you're doing something right. And that's, a, that's what is, is key, right? That's what builds the confidence. That's amazing, Vic, man. I'm so I'm so happy for you. This is this is awesome, man. I mean, and so this is what I, I want everybody to experience. I want everybody to experience that the you know the the process that you did so that you can get that aha moment. Like, oh my god, I can't believe that I could do this. And then what? Right. You've been studying all this along. So nothing's luck at the end of the day, man. You make your own luck. It's like the, the saying, right? The, it's funny thing though. The more I practice, the luckier I get. So that's what Vic did. Vic Vic did that. So I thank you. And, Congrats, man! This is awesome. So, um, so guys, there, there, there it is. This is, I mean, this is the first time I actually talked to Vic like this. We didn't plan anything, did we? We, we, we never rehearsed this conversation. So, I mean, we, we pretty much winged it. So, I, I really didn't know what you're gonna say, and that's the way I am. I like to keep it natural, so that you know, it's, it's that, because this, this is the reality, guys. All you guys watching now, this is the reality. People think it's bullshit, but it's not bullshit. You can become a consistently profitable trader if you put in the work we have
have the winning strategies, the winning process. It's just up to you and the discipline. Vic is a military guy. He has a lot of discipline. My God, man, it's amazing. And so Vic can help you guys too when you guys join. So thank you, Vic, man. I, hey, man. Everyone give a hand. Hey, <laughs> Honestly, hey, thanks to you guys. You guys are phenomenal. Uh, if it wasn't for the help that you guys have provided me in the beginning, I wouldn't be where I am today. So, uh, you know, anybody who's watching this, Vic is the real fucking deal, dude. Uh, you know, I'm just a Joe Schmo who lives out in Virginia who happened to come across Mick. I was skeptical, did my research, I joined, and now I'm making money damn near every day in the markets thanks to you guys. When he says Mickey means M-I-C. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said, yeah. M-I-C. Yeah, yeah. Forget that mixed up. <laughs> and just, it, uh, I saw all these scrolls going by. Uh, thanks to everybody for the congratulations. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the room. And, uh, and a shout out to my, my, uh, my tabs, Faye and Kevin. You guys are phenomenal. Uh, and if you guys don't have a tab yet and you belong to MIC, get a fucking tab. Just get a fucking tab. <laughs> Thanks, man. Go back to your day job, Vic. <laughs> right, buddy. Thanks, man. I'll see you guys. Thanks, man. Peace out. Well, I want to end. I want to summarize right now. What you saw was pretty much the process that we teach. You know, he's the, the key is this, guys. You don't just jump in and start banging buns and expect to make money. That's how you start losing. You want to develop good habits by doing educational work beforehand. So we have a whole course, and that's what we keep trying to tell you. We have a whole course to, be, to make you, to help you become a consistently profitable trader, guys. And so it's, it's very possible. It's, he's, Vic is only five months in. And so hit up Tosh, guys. We, our, our accelerator program. So this is before... Vic had the accelerator program. Vic spent six weeks watching all these videos. But you know what, man? So what we did is we took all those videos and we, we made a summary, like a cliff notes, into the accelerator. So what the accelerator is, is taking tens of thousands of hours of video and giving you the synopsis, the blueprint. And then later on, you can drill on. So if Vic had that accelerator, who knows? He could have been a consistently profitable trade within a month or two instead of Three months, but you know, I would take three months any day, man. The fact that he did so well, and you guys can do it too, guys. So we'll see you later. Thank you for joining. And uh, text Tosh, this is the last month of the promo. Last, probably last uh, week and a half or so. So thanks, guys. We'll see you in the room.